I'm going to talk to you about how COVID-19 can impact your brain. First of all, I'd like you to know that the SARS virus is a tiny little speckle of dust. It really does not have significant genetic information to cause harms by itself. So how is it that it can damage our heart, our kidneys, and our brain? It turns out that when the virus enters through our body, whether it's uh, through our nose or through our mouth, it can trigger a lot of inflammation. And this inflammation is way out of proportion to the size of the virus, which is tiny, tiny nothingness. Um, and the inflammation is so huge that a lot of blood clots are formed. Inside our blood, there is a system for forming blood clots when somebody bleeds. But this system should not be activated unless there is a cut. When there's too much inflammation, then blood clots are formed and they can travel all around our body and our brain and can cause problems. Millions of little blood clots go everywhere and can cause kidney damage, heart damage, lung damage, and brain damage. So there are four ways that the virus causes damage to our brain and our nervous system, which includes our eyes, and our autonomic nervous system, which controls our blood pressure and digestive system. Number one is too much inflammation can affect the lining of the blood vessels in the brain and cause brain damage. Patients may develop seizures or encephalopathy, which means they can become confused or even go to coma. Now, lots of blood clots can cause lots of strokes, and that's another way that the virus causes problems in the brain. Finally, when the heart is damaged and when the lungs are damaged, not enough oxygen and nutrients reaches our brain. And this is a third way the virus causes problems. By damaging other organs, the brain gets affected indirectly. Finally, some of the virus can go through the nose and literally go through the brain. We don't think that the actual presence of virus in the brain is the main cause of headaches and seizures and strokes and confusion and memory loss and insomnia and everything else. We think that the virus that does enter the brain and sit inside the brain cells may cause problems decades later. Maybe it will lead to multiple sclerosis or Alzheimer's disease. So the best way to handle the virus is not to get it or get vaccinated. I hope this is helpful for you.